Hello everyone, I come to you from the Gettysburg Battlefield along the Emmitsburg Road just south of the Klingel Farm uh, in the position that was taken up by part of the Union Third Corps. This is the monument of the 11th New Jersey Volunteer Infantry Regiment, a regiment that brought 275 men into action on July 2nd, 1863. And of those 275 men, 153 of them became casualties of the battle. This regiment suffered the highest number of losses for any other regiment from the state of New Jersey. And just about everyone above the rank of captain was a casualty of the battle. The colonel of this regiment wrote a total of, a, of 900 letters home to his family during the course of the war, which were published in 1965 by the historian James I. Robertson. During the fight here on July the 2nd, the colonel was wounded in the thigh by a mini ball and in the right foot by a spent shell fragment. To tell the rest of the story about this colonel, I'd like to go 156 miles to the northeast to his grave site where I will complete this snapshot. Thank you. Hello, I come to you from Belvedere, New Jersey, a Victorian town in what northwestern New Jersey's Warren County in the grave of Robert McAllister, the, the colonel of the 11th New Jersey Volunteer Infantry at Gettysburg, who eventually became a brevet major general. This monument, which is on the grave of McAllister, was erected by the citizens of Belvedere in 1894 on Memorial Day. And McAllister had lived a good portion of his life in New Jersey, in Oxford Furnace, and also in Belvedere, and passed on February 23rd, 1891, after having experienced a stroke in 1887. McAllister spent a good portion of his later years working for the Ironton Railroad Company, which was located in communities west of Allentown, Pennsylvania, and he and served the hematite ore fields located in, the, in that area. On the back of this monument, there's a listing of McAllister's service record, and in the front you have this nice bronze um, depiction of McAllister showing his face. General Daniel Sickles said that McAllister uh, was one of the best officers that New Jersey had to offer in the war, which was saying a good deal about his service in the conflict. I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Steve Pahalik, a board member of the National Civil War Museum. And I'd like to thank you for, for viewing this and please like and subscribe this video and others on our YouTube channel. Thank you.